this is just a quick 3 a.m. video to cover this little piece of, well, crap, I guess. I don't, I don't know, it's not really crap. I mean, it's obviously cheaply made, but it could be useful for you. It is a four port USB switch. Now I bought this because I thought it was a USB hub with each of these ports switched, which I thought would be cool for uh, data storage devices, for example, for removable media, so I could disconnect them and reconnect them as I use them. Um, I don't really know why I wanted to do that. It's not really necessary, but the problem is, and I found this out after I bought it, this is not a USB hub. I don't remember, I don't think the ad was misleading. I think I just didn't read it accurately. I feel like I need to interject here. I don't know what the hell I was talking about or why, but at first I thought this was a USB hub, and then I didn't, then I did, then I didn't again. I don't know, I bought this thing like six months ago for reasons I can't remember and just decided to do a video about it now. So, I don't know, forgive me for all the confusion. We'll figure out what it is as I open it up and show it to you. This is just a dumb little device, and each of these switches controls a port, and it's got a nice LED to show that it's on. And all in all, I mean, it's a pretty cool little device if you need this sort of thing. I got this little fan so I could show you that it's working. Ooh, cooling. I know this fan's kind of nasty, it's pretty dirty, but this I use for cooling um, those little USB Bitcoin miners back when that was in vogue. This would sit over a USB hub and just keep them cool. But the main point of this video is just to see what's inside of this. To see uh, if you're considering buying one of these, whether or not you should. Okay, not much to getting this open. Uh, there's just four rivets there, which pop into, or five rivets, there's one in the middle, which pop into these little holes. And um, it's not uh, permanently attached. I guess they're not really rivets. But anywho, yeah, exceedingly simple circuit board. Um, I'll put a close up of it here. Wow, they didn't even trim some of these leads though. That's just sloppy, wow. Yeah, this was, this was cheap, but it's really poorly made. Um, oh. You know what? Maybe this is a USB hub. Because it's a chip. All right, but this is so shoddily put together. I mean, if they won't even trim the leads on this oscillator, then uh, yeah, I, I don't know that I want to trust my USB devices to this. It also didn't come with a power adapter, which is kind of weird. Uh, obviously you could take power from the USB port uh, on your computer, but it does have a port for external power. Don't know that I'd trust it though, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what power supply would be appropriate for this. Hang on. It looks like there's a there's solder bridging that gap there between those two pads, but it's not. It just gets exceedingly close to bridging it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all it is. I'm gonna include a link to the AliExpress listing where I bought this in case you're interested for your own purposes. But like I said, I mean, it'd be good for like USB fans or little devices like that, cup warmers, I mean, all those novelty USB devices. Cheap USB hubs, I would not trust any of my valuable USB things to it, uh, particularly data storage. Well, anyway, this has been an utterly pointless uh, video. I felt like I just needed to shoot something. I was getting antsy. So uh, thanks for watching. For more videos like this and videos not at all like this, check out my blog at s.co.tt and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you feel like it. Oh wow, they didn't even fold down the tabs to physically hold these USB ports onto the board or even solder them down or anything.